Hey, how's it guys? In this video, we're going to look at how to answer a data analysis interview question by Dropbox using Pandas. All right, so the question is called Sorry's Defenses. And the question is really easy. Now let's look at the uh, description first. Right, Korea calculates the difference between the highest salaries found in the marketing and engineering departments. And for the output, you need to uh, return the absolute difference in salaries. All right, so when we look at a question like this, the first thing I look for is what is the output is looking for? So in this case, the output is looking for the absolute difference in salaries. All right, so let me look at the uh, data set. All right, so here we have two tables, employee and department. So the department table is going to return the uh, department's information. In this case, we only have the department's name. And for the employee table, we have uh, each employee's uh, information. So let's do this. I'm going to, first of all, uh, merge these two tables together. And here, let me choose, OK, I already uh, chose Python. So I'm going to reference the uh, employee table. And to do a join or a merge, we're going to use the uh, merge method. And I want to do a left join against the uh, department table. All right, so it's going to be db, d-e-p-t. And here I want to uh, specify the join type. And it's going to be left. Then I want to uh, specify the key. All right, so from the uh, left table, we are going to use the ID column. And for the right column, uh, the employee ID is also going to be the ID column. All right, so they share the same key. So here I'm going to specify the uh, count ID. And I'll name the output as DF. All right, so if I run the code, and here we have our master table to work with. And I noticed that uh, my department's column is not returning anything. Let me take a look. OK, so I noticed my mistake. So this ID here is referencing the department ID column. So let me take that. And it's going to be from the uh, left table. All right, so here we have uh, the department's uh, list returned. Now it's going to be uh, step one, getting all the information into a single table. Now we need to uh, figure out the highest salaries in both marketing and the engineering departments. All right, so here uh, we can grab the highest salary from each department by referencing the departments first. All right, so it's going to be, let's do engineering first. And here I want to reference the salaries column. And since I'm only interested in the highest salary, so I'm going to insert the uh, max function to return the highest salary for the engineering department. And to figure out the difference between engineering and marketing, so here I'm going to copy this line here, and I'll copy and paste. And here I can change my department condition to marketing. And this is going to give me the difference between these two departments. Now the question is asking for the absolute difference in salaries. So we need to convert this to an absolute value. And I'll name the output as solution. All right, so if I run the code, and here, uh, line seven is incorrect. Let me take a look. Oh, this should be uh, two equal signs. And this should be department. Oh, so salary should be singular. All right, so here we're getting 2400 as the absolute difference. Now I'm going to uh, submit the solution. 
and here uh, it marks as self. All right, so that's going to be the first approach. Now I'm going to show you a different approach to uh, solve this problem. All right, so let me uh, come out of this line here. So the other approach is using the group by method. So a group by is basically a pivot table. And here I'm going to group by, by the department ID. And from the group by output, I want to return the salaries uh, information. But what we want to do here is we want to return the max salary. So I'm going to insert the uh, max method that reset to reset the index. All right, so I'll name this as df2. And this will be a uh, reset index. All right, so if I run uh, the Python script, now it's giving me the highest salary for each department based on uh, the department ID column. And to calculate the highest difference between uh, marketing and engineering, if you already know the department ID uh, number, you can simply reference the department ID and subtract the difference. But since, uh, let's assume that we don't know the uh, department's name based on the department ID's uh, field. So here I'm going to do another join using the uh, merge method. And it's going to be against uh, DB DPT table. All right, so again, uh, this is going to be a left join. And from the left table, we're going to use the department ID field. And from the right table, it's going to be the ID field. And I'll name the output as DF2, uh, basically to place the original uh, diaphragm object. Now, this is what we have so far. We have department's name in the full column and the highest salary for each department. Now to figure out the uh, salary difference, so here we can reference the department ID column. And this time I'm going to use the isIn method. So basically we want to insert the department's list that we want to return. In this case, will be engineering and marketing. Followed by referencing the salary column. And to calculate the uh, value difference, we can use the diff method. Now name uh, the output solution. And this should returns 2400 here. Uh, let me see. Okay, so I forgot to uh, wrap the condition with a DF2 object, followed by the uh, salary column. Then I can calculate the difference. And that's return 2400. I'm going to uh, submit the solution again. And, oh, what's going on here? Okay, so I see uh, the issue. So here I have a blank row. Now to return the value of 2400, so here I'm going to uh, use the tail method and I only want to return the last value. All right, so let me try again. And this time uh, my solution is a set. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. I just want to show you uh, two different approaches to solve this uh, data analysis interview problem. And I hope you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.